Hello everybody, long time no see, I know. <laughs> uh, I'm coming to you today to basically do a flip through of the Age of Witchery Tarot created by Roger Horn and if you know me for any length of time then you know that I am a huge fan of his books so I was super excited when I found out that he's releasing a tarot deck of his own making and uh, I pretty much got it immediately. <laughs> That's how excited I was. So it just came today and uh, I wanted to do a flip through of the deck uh, to show it mostly to my friends who are also fans of Roger Horns and wanted to see what it looks like. Uh, I figured it would be nice to do a side by side with a Marseille style deck because this is also uh, like Roger's work for example in this book which there's a newer edition of this one which is more complete uh, I don't have it uh, so this is mostly about cartomancy with playing card decks but he's also um, as far as I'm aware uh, reading with Marseille style decks so uh, this deck you will see is also kind of Marseille style especially when it comes to the pips um, so yeah, let's just get to it, I suppose. I could talk about it for ages and bore you to death. We don't need that. So uh, here's the box, by the way. Uh, I think uh, this is the six ways symbol. And uh, as far as I kind of understand his uh, creative process with this deck, I think he... Um, was like looking for old woodcut style or linocut, I'm not sure, style images and kind of collaging them uh, to create these um, kind of vintage, old-timey looking um, images in the Marseille style. So at the back, just briefly, uh, you actually have his um, homepage address where you can find kind of like a short guidebook because no guidebook comes with the deck like no printed guidebook comes with the deck but um, he does provide a guide uh, which is also based on this book uh, but honestly I think you can use this deck uh, like read with this deck with um, any prior knowledge that you have either of Marseille style or I don't see why you wouldn't be able to read uh, with it using the traditional Rider Waite Smith meanings. So yeah, whatever, let's go through it so you can kind of immediately see uh, the similarities when it comes to how the figures are um, posing and how they are uh, facing and everything. So. Uh, except this one is much more like old-timey witchery style artwork, right? Same with the magician. And uh, you can see here, probably, or maybe not, you can see that instead of discs or pentacles, you have roots in this deck. And again, the figures are kind of uh, facing in the same direction, holding a book, etc. Uh, except this one is a wedge, right? Clearly. Um, then the Empress. The Emperor. And these two you can see next to each other. Or actually facing each other. Which I love because if you use the kind of Joaf Bendov uh, style of reading Marseille, then uh, yeah, that's helpful. The Pope. The Lovers. And you can see kind of a horned figure here, so uh, if you are a practitioner of traditional witchcraft, this might give you some uh, ideas related to your craft as well. The chariot, of course, we have, um, you know, a devil flying to the sabbat. 
justice. It's interesting with the imagery of the two birds, kind of reminds me of some myths of uh, world creation in Slavic mythology, but that's like kind of besides the point. Um, then we have the hermit. The Wheel of Fortune and here of course you have some imps instead of the usual like I don't know if this one how um, how much of this one is traditional because this specific one from Piatnik has some changes uh, too. Strength The Hanged Man Death, of course, nameless. Temperance. <laughs> I love the fact that you have uh, the devil here as well, or some kind of imp, at least. Here's the actual devil. The tower, and I absolutely love this one, I think. I'm not sure because it's kind of vague, right? But it looks like the devil's either like riding a flying horse or like a goat. I, I'm not really sure. The star. The moon. And uh, of course here you have a kind of like a Sabbat setting with people in the circle dancing to the moon. Love that. The sun and both of these, like, fuck, the sun cards in Marseille. Yeah, <laughs> their faces are wonky as fuck. Gotta love that. Then we have Judgment. And finally, the world. So you can see that some like basic imagery um, of the kind of four spirits at the four corners, etc., are similar, but also it's not fully traditional Marseille. And then we move on to ones which here are called rods. Uh, so you can see a typical stang here. I will try to speed up because these are peeps, so not much to say here. You can see that it's very minimalistic and in a kind of typical Roger Horn style of drawing that you will see a lot in uh, his books. So with peeps like that you can either like use as I said, traditional meaning if you have it memorized, if you've been reading for a long time, uh, of either like Marseille or Rider Waite, or you can go off of, uh, you know, numerological meanings of the cards. Basically, whatever suits you, right? Then we move on to uh, the court cards. And in this deck, actually, all of the courts are wearing masks, which I find really intriguing, personally. The knights, the queen, and the king. And all of the kings are horned, if I remember correctly. I just look at the deck briefly before showing it to you. So then we move on to vessels, which is obviously cups or chalices. And again, same thing, it's rather minimalistic. Again, court cards. I love this Queen of Vessels, by the way, with a toad and in this witchy hat and with a cauldron. Yeah, she's me, basically. <laughs> 
then blades, which is uh, swords. And again the court cards. <laughs> Love this one. And finally we are moving on to roots, which would be pentacles or discs. And the cards, as you can see, are kind of slippery. Which I personally love because I like decks that are actually, you know, easy to shuffle. So this kind of looks like a mandrake root, perhaps. And the final set of um, cords, which you can see instead of coins, they are holding roots, which I think is cute as hell. <laughs> Knight, queen, which this queen has um, a snake. And the king, finally. So I'm guessing uh, each of the queens is probably holding some kind of animal. But I only paid attention to the last two. Let's actually check that. So this is the queen of roots. Queen of blades. Oh yeah, some kind of bird. Queen of Vessels with the Toad and Queen of Rods with some kind of, of course, fiery, like either a small dragon or it's definitely a flying creature of fire of some kind. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I love it. So as I was saying, the deck is kind of slippery cardstock. It definitely needs to be edged in some kind of like orangey, kind of dirty rust color, which I love by the way. So yeah, that's it. Love it. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you maybe sometime in the future. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye.